This video is going to talk about the patterns that you can apply to any of your pictures. So I'm going to demonstrate on this strip right here. Uh, this is going to be for the visual alphabet and we're going to have the letters coming down uh, down this picture right here. So right now it's uh, it's just an individual image so the background is the only layer. If you have something that has layers and you've gone over here and made the layers invisible just make sure that the background is active otherwise you're going to end up getting this pattern onto uh, another layer which you don't want. You want it on the background. So there's three different types of patterns that we could uh, add on here and I'm going to demonstrate all three of them and you can play around uh, with any of them and figure out what you want to do. So the first one is just the patterns that are built into this program here. Now first of all to access the patterns it's within the gradient tool and it's actually within the paint bucket tool. So if you've used the paint bucket tool before you see that it's marked foreground. That means that when you use the paint bucket it's going to apply it to it's going to apply this blue on there whatever this foreground color is. It's just going to be a solid color like that. But uh, if you wanted to do a pattern you change this drop down menu to pattern. Now if you come over here you have a window that has sort of a preview of some of the patterns that are available. If you want to see different patterns, if you click on this gear right here, you're going to see that there's all these different libraries. So you can see that there's a ton of different patterns. Now the way that you see these, it might not be too appealing, but you have to take into account that these are very, very small uh, patterns that when you run this through as a pattern, it's going to show up much, much different than this preview here. And I'm going to show you with this one right here. So let's say I select this pattern right here and I dump the color, uh, dump it in. You're going to notice that it doesn't even look like a pattern was added. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. It's really, really close. There's your pattern. So some of these patterns, they're barely noticeable because they are the elements are so, so small. So I'm just going to undo this. I'm going to hit Command U and I'm going to get rid of this pattern by moving the lightness and hue saturation all the way up. Again, I hit Command U, which took me to, uh, to Image, Adjustments, and hue saturation. So what I did is I just brought the lightness all the way up so it just is basically making it white again. So you might notice that when you get to these pre um, you know these these you know preset patterns that they, they're not really going to work out for you. If you hover over them it tells you that this is eight pixels by eight pixels. Now if you remember this particular image is five inches across 300 pixels which means that it's 1500 pixels across so if you're dealing with something that's only eight pixels of course it's going to be crazy small so let's go to some different ones you have erodible textures and you say okay and you may notice that they're going to be a little bit bigger so you see it says 256 pixel, pixels by 256 pixels so some of them are a little bit bigger. So as you're exploring the pixels, you may find ones that you might like. Let's try this pink rock one. 200 by 200. So if it's 1,500 across, that means there's going to be about, if I did my math right, there'll be eight, almost eight of them across. So let's select that. Yep. So you can see here's the pattern. Almost eight times. Yeah, seven and some change. So... And again, if you don't want it, you have to start off with a clean slate. Let me just show you why. All right, so I have a pattern here. Let's say I want to try a different pattern now. So you can see what happens is it doesn't go on because the surface that you're trying to dump the pattern on is not solid. If it's not solid, when you start dumping the color on, I'm sorry, when you start dumping the pattern on, you can see it's only kind of splashing it on. Same thing if you wanted to go back to the paint bucket tool and you just wanted to dump blue. 
you're going to notice it's not going to work. The only way that this works is you have to start off with a clean paper. Okay, It's got to be solid. So those are the already existing patterns. And like I said, if you keep going back, you're going to see a bunch of different ones. If you want to go back to the default patterns, you go to Reset Patterns, you say OK. And these are the ones that were there originally. OK? So again, you can explore the already existing patterns. I'm going to show you now how to uh, make a pattern out of, a, out of a, an existing photo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up an image that I currently have. I'll go in my toy box and let's say that I pick this little puppy. Okay, so I'm going to crop this puppy into um, something I'm going to use as a pattern. So I'm going to go to the crop tool and when I crop this I go up here to W times H times resolution. I'm going to make it an inch by an inch and 300 pixels per inch. That means that it'll be a 300 by 300 pixel image. I'm going to come really close. Now these patterns that you make do not necessarily have to be squares. If you wanted to do a rectangle, like a one by three quarter of an inch rectangle, you can certainly do that. But just for purposes of demonstration, I'm just going to show you a square. So I like it. I'm going to commit to it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to define this. And again, if I wanted to change this, I can certainly change this however I want. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Edit and Define Pattern. Now what, when it, the pattern name will be the name of the file that you open. So Puppy JPEG is fine. If I just want to make it Puppy, that's fine there. So now I'm going to go back to my background and I'm going to go to the Paint Bucket tool. I'm going to go from, I'm making sure that I'm on pattern. And if I click here, you notice in my presets, I have the puppy. And there we go. Now, if you look at this and you say that the puppies are too small, you want more of them, that means that when you crop it, you're going to have to crop it bigger. So instead of an inch, you might want to try an inch and a half or, you know, it's going to be trial and error. Just keep in mind, sometimes if you need to know, you need to know the pixels. So like I said, in this particular picture, it's 1500 pixels across. So if you make some, these are 300 pixels a piece. So you might need to kind of figure out some math. Okay. So by the way, if you wanted to change the color, let's say that we wanted these to be solid. If I hit command U, if I wanted this to be what they call monochromatic, let's say I want them to all be pink. I can hit colorize. I go to hue saturation, command U, and you know already know lightness. But saturation will make it very, very bright or if I wanted to gray it out. And this other one is hue. But before I do that, I'm going to hit colorize. If I hit colorize, notice that the puppies are now one uh, color, different values of the color, so I can adjust the hue. The last pattern mode that I'm going to show you is you can make one from a drawing. So I'm going to clear this out again. I'm going to hit Command U, bring the lightness all the way up. And this time I'm going to open up a new picture. I'm going to go to File, New. This one I'm going to make. So this one I'm going to make it one inch by one inch. And the resolution is going to be 300. This is the same size as my puppy picture. So what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to draw a picture. So this is when you can start trying out the brush tools. And I'm just going to do a little swirl. So you can draw for yourself a picture. You put whatever you want in it. If you have a particular idea, if there's something you want to represent, and the only way you can represent it is through drawing it yourself, you can go ahead. Now this pattern, while it's a really cool idea, you want to make sure it kind of flows with, with the theme that you have. 
So if it has something to do with the name or the word that you're doing, that would be good. But I'm just doing something random. So there's my, my picture. I'm going to go to, uh, back to Edit. And again, I'm going to define pattern. This time it's just called pattern one. You can call it whatever you want. And once again, if you go back to the paint bucket tool and you're in pattern, you'll see there's your hand drawn pattern. You can go to background and you can dump that pattern in. And you can do the same thing if you, if you like the pattern, but you want to change the color, you can certainly change the color as you see fit, but then there's the pattern. Okay, so three ways to make patterns. You can take a already existing pattern, you can make a pattern off of a picture, or you can just draw your own picture.